so ladies i was um recording for a good 10 minutes when i actually realized i never started the recording so <laughs> it's actually quite fun but i think it um, so let me start all over again i i'm taking a walk this morning and it's been a sunday morning uh, i think it's the 12th of december yeah so i thought let me just talk to you a little bit we haven't connected in a while so part of i think why i want to do this is that in the week i got a bit of a medical scare and i realized that it's important to to just get myself sorted you know <clears throat> and um and i was thinking of an example when we are younger and those of you can relate christmas time was a time for cleaning out the once a year exercise where you do everything clean the windows clean the curtains scrub the walls you like every nook and cranny in that house so the house must be speak and span for if the neighbors come around christmas we need to show our houses this shyness. And for many of us, we hated that exercise actually. But I thought about it. Like, what's the meaning behind that? So I think the meaning behind that is that you need to clean out. You need to clean house. You need to spring clean. In terms of your body, mind and soul right what is different so what our parents was actually trying to do is trying to get us to to clean out all the old energies in the house so that we're ready for the new year so i think at a personal level that's what's required as well we need to clean house so what does clean house mean so for me it means <clears throat> Starting with my health, it means taking walks, so I'm no fitness fanatic or anything, but I can certainly take a walk, which I'm doing now, and bolt slowly. I'm going to try and do yoga exercises every day, at least for 10 minutes, and see how that works. Um, so that's as far as my body is concerned. And then I also have a massage therapist, which is, which I call a healer more than a therapist because the kind of massages she does is not the kind that you find in the spa. It will be about, okay, you have a problem here. We need to fix it. There's no circulation. Uh, what have you been up to? What did you eat? Um, so yes, you know, um, it was part of that as well. So when it comes to, so I've, I've touched on the body. The other thing about the body is about eating right. So I have a digestive problem. So I really need to be careful in terms of what do I eat? When do I eat it? How does it digest? And it's an absolute nightmare. But I need to get onto a clean diet. And I'm trying to cut out meat. Um, I only eat chicken now or fish, say once a week. Uh, I haven't had red meat in probably about two to three weeks. Um, in terms of progress, I think that's still a bit slow. It will probably, if I do this consistently, I'll start seeing progress. So again, this is no miracle. This is how you should do it. This is just, this, this is just like,
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, that is one of the neighbors just getting a, a tortoise out of the way before it gets run over. Yeah, so um, where was I? So yes, um, it's about eating right. And um, now the one thing that I've learned through my digestive problems is that no one's body is the same. So there's no recipes, there's no this, there's no that. I think you need to know your body and you need to know what works for you um, and what foods actually work for your body. Um, I'm, I don't do dieting. I've never really done the dieting, but I do know it's important to eat right. So you ladies need to think about what does that mean for you. So I've touched on the, the body aspect. Let's talk about how do I cleanse the mind. So the mind is a very busy place, very busy place. But it's also the seat of where all our troubles and worries and everything else comes from. Right, and it's where all our toxic thoughts come from. Because remember, whatever you feel, the mind tells you to act on, whether good or bad. So, how do we cleanse the mind? How do you declutter the mind? So, decluttering the mind for me is about being still, whether it's at night whether it's early in the morning but be still with your thoughts and try and declutter and how do you declutter i mean i think we can have a whole session on that alone but i must say that my daughter has been helping me a lot through some of these things now my daughter's story will be told at some point um, and but I find that she is really helping me cleansing my mind and getting back on track in terms of what does a cleansed mind look like okay. and um, so what I do in the interim is at night before I go to bed, um, I lie down on my back with my legs elevated, put on some music that, that I enjoy, and I just rest. And sometimes I write or journal, and other times I, I now I've decided I'm gonna write poetry. Um, because I find a lot of expressing myself through poetry, which is for me a powerful tool of journaling. And I think it's to build that consistency around that. Because they say if you put it on paper, you get it out of your head, right? So that's how you declutter. In terms of the soul, that's where the spirit comes in. As what is what is the spiritual cleansing and again this is not about religion this is about what works for you and what does your spiritual cleanse look like for you um, and that's that's the important thing so a spiritual cleanse for me is about one meditation which is extremely hard because my mind is so cluttered secondly it's, it's about connecting to God the best way I can connect. Um, if I have to ask which element is, is, is less in sync, it's probably my spiritual or spirituality uh, because it's been driven by a lot of events of the year. So that's, that's something that I definitely have to, to strengthen. Right? So for you, it could be reading the Bible every day it could be doing those plans um, on the Bible. 
it could be whatever you feel is going to get you close to God. Um, I am not prescriptive and people see God in many different shapes and sizes. And whatever is important for you and whatever you relate to, that's um, what you then gravitate towards. Um, what I do do a lot though is I listen to people like Ayan Lafasant. It helps me a lot. Um, she is a spiritual guru and the stuff that she says um, I resonate with highly. And again here I'm not prescriptive. You can find whatever, there's, there's many of these books around. Um, so for me through listening to Ayanla, it makes my connection with God easier. <clears throat> so, so that's the journey and hopefully what I can do for you is give you an update on how the journey is going um, every month or yeah I think every week will be a bit overloading but every month so ladies wish me luck and um, yeah this is Estelle over and out and I hope you have a safe holiday um, and rest and lots of love give yourself lots of love um, until the next time have a good one bye bye